What's up ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? And if you could hear that music, you know what it's time for. I bought this game during the summer and now it's time for a review of what game? The remake of Doom, otherwise known as Doom 4. Now, this game is awesome. I love the game. I have the original game on my phone actually. I play that game all the time. This game felt like a very good remake. It was a, it felt like a really good remake. This game had also a lot of hints of the original game in it, because there's actually maps in this game that are like the original maps. Like, you can walk through there, and, like, there's a bunch of secrets and stuff like that. And uh, my nephew Tevis here found something else that's awesome about this game. He's actually switching right now, so you guys are getting ready to see something awesome. And yeah, I thought it was awesome to have the original Doom music playing in the background. But this game is actually very fun. It's gory. It's a, everything a Doom remake should be. But yes, so Tevis was uh, just messing around one day and found out that you can switch the cover. So this is the original, and the one that we showed you before is the other one. Now, what, are, what things about this game are awesome? Everything. The weapons are awesome. They have remade the weapons. The pistol is awesome. The shotgun is awesome. You even get some new games, that, or at least new games, or uh, you get new guns that at least I've never heard of from the original Doom. From the original Doom, you have the pistol. You have the shotgun, the double barrel shotgun, the machine gun, the plasma gun, the chainsaw, and you get a lot of the power-ups, and, and the BFG, and the rocket launcher. You get all those. Now, you do get... You get, I, I want to say you get two or th two or three guns that are new. You get the Gauss Cannon, which is pretty much kind of like a second plasma rifle. Like rocket launcher and plasma. Yeah, pretty much. And then you also get another machine gun, which is really awesome. And actually, uh, that that's it. But um, a lot of the weapons are really cool. You even, you can upgrade your weapons. Like the shotgun has, uh, so far we got two modes. There's a triple shot or there's a, a grenade shot. Uh, the um, the machine gun has um, missiles, see, uh, see, heat-seeking missiles that will follow any of the enemies. This game is ridiculously hard, though. I ain't gonna lie, because this game only comes with two modes. It comes with hurt me plenty and the second variation, which I can't remember. But if you play this game, you're gonna have to have a lot of patience because you're gonna die a lot, a, lot. a whole lot. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you. Now, see, he beat the final boss before I did. It took me so long to beat him because no matter what, I, I, I got him to the final bit, and I was using the machine gun, and I still died, and I was very upset. But he beat the game before I did, which was cool. Um, he got to the Gargantuan Cyber Demon before I did, which is awesome. This game is, uh, this game is fun, however it can get repetitive sometimes. I beat the first boss the second time. Someone beat that. Yeah. Um, Beat that. This game does have a lot of good things to it. The graphics are amazing. The story is great. The you can go back to the original, um, to the uh, the original controls, like where the shotgun's out in front of your face, like this. You can do that. It's really, it really, this game is a good way to introduce new people to the Doom game, and also a way to bring back a lot of fans, which is actually what this game does. This game has a perfect mixture. However, though. I have learned from him that you can't play the game over on your same profile. At least not that from what we've discovered. You can select what missions that you want to redo instead of playing throughout the whole entire game. Like with the Arkham games, how like whenever you finish the story once, you can go back and redo it, it on, a, on a harder setting. This, uh, no, what, you just select what you want to do? You can do, like... You can do mission selections. Yeah. That's about it. Instead and of going through the story again, which I think that they should have done to where you can replay through the story again with all your guns, it's just harder. Which that would have been cool. He's already started the game again, or something like that. I don't I know. I did mission selects in order. I'm probably going to delete my profile and start it over. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that too. Yeah, we should do that. Um, but now, sometimes this game can get repetitive. Uh, but other than that, this game is excellent it is an excellent remake it has good quality it has good reason it has enough reasons to bring old fans and also newer fans to the doom franchise the guns are awesome the villains are awesome the villains are ridiculously hard some harder than others than they were in the original game pinky uh 
I I'm not kidding. Gosh, pinky the pinkies are so hard to kill. Not really. They're harder to kill than the barons of hell. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No. Yes. I have killed a baron of hell with a shotgun. I've killed the barons of hell with the BFG because I'm scared to shoot them with anything else. Yeah, well, yeah. But anyways, pinky is ridiculously hard. He is OP. They are one of the most OP? What? overpowered. Oh. They're like one of the most overpowered b villains in this game. They oh, are they do. so they take so much more ammo. In the original Doom, all it took was two shotgun shells to the face. That's all it took to kill him. All you and gotta then, do is get out of the way and then shoot him a couple times. More than a couple, but... You know. Yeah, more than a couple. They were easier to kill in the original Doom than they are in this. Uh, you've got some awesome grenades. You actually do have some interesting characters. You go to hell, what, three times? Four. You go to hell four separate times. Uh, you go to Mars, and there's like a bunch of... There's a big lead-up to another game. Five, because at the end of the game, you get oh, sent yeah. back at the very oh, yeah. end. Yeah, I've never really understood. They've never given us Doom Guys Origins, which that's good. They don't ever need to do that. Uh, but this game is just a, a blast to play. It is so fun. You're killing demons with guns and a chainsaw, and you're punching things to death. Oh, and Doom Guy, he doesn't care about subtlety. He doesn't care about sparing the machine. Because how many times in this game do they say, do not break this stuff? Do not... Oh, crap, he broke it. I'm like, Doom Guy's just like this. They're, they're like, like, Doom Guy, do not break this. We still need it. Bam, breaks it anyway. It's like the very first computer screen that you touch is basically like this. He touches it and then like throws it out of the way. It is an awesome game. Guys, I'm going to give Doom... A 9 out of 10. This game is fun. It is repetitive sometimes, and it does suck that you can't play through the story twice after you have already beaten it once, but that that shouldn't stop you from buying this game. This game is ridiculously fun. My favorite gun of all time, my favorite combo in this, in, in this whole entire game is the plasma rifle and the double barrel shotgun. I have never been able to use the double barrel shotgun because I have the uh, iPhone version of Doom and you can't get it. I've already looked it up. You can't get it. Unless, if there's a way to get it, please put it in the comments below. But guys, we love this game. We're probably going to be playing it a lot more. I know I certainly am. I ain't selling this, not for a while. And if I do, I'm crazy. I sold Far Cry 4 for this. And this game I like a lot better than Far Cry 4, actually. <sighs> but anyways, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Put in the comments below, what did you think about the new Doom? What is your favorite gun in the in the game? What is your favorite combo? Let us know. We really want to know. What's your favorite power-ups? What villain in this game do you honestly think is uh, too overpowered? We really want to know. And I want to thank everyone for watching this video. And thank you for taking time to watch my videos. Because it's, it's really you guys that makes my channel grow. Guys, hit that like button. Unless you're upside down, it's this one. Guys, have a good day. And we're going to go kill some demons in hell. Have a good day, guys.